Well, this is N.J. Polly from the cold northern lands outside of Cody, Wyoming, running ironworks. And this is one of my uh, post vices or leg vices. And this is the other one. Got them mounted on this block. So I love these vices. I couldn't do my job without them. But uh, the one thing they really don't work very good for is holding these knife blanks when you want to work on them. But I came up with a tool that works really good. Okay, so here it is. What this is is an old, an old vice body that um, I bought at Harbor Freight years ago. You know, they're probably 15 bucks or something on sale. And of course, I was hammering on it, and I broke the the, the bottom plate off, the adjustable plate. And it, I, it pounded around here for a long time. I carried it around and had uses for it. You know, I tried to use it. But this uh, this is works really great for holding these knife blades when you want to work on these knife blades. So what I did is I took a piece of, I think this is probably inch or inch and an eighth by uh, three eighths. I bent it into a U, welded it onto the plate, and you can see that I just lock it up in the vise. Um, now the reason I do this is if you try to put something in one of these vices on one side and you don't have something over here it cants the it cants the uh, jaws of the vise and they don't hold very good so if you have something the same width on both sides you can really bear down on these and really get something to hold really good okay so I've got that in there good so that works really good of course it's totally adjustable you can adjust it any way you want to hold the blade I prefer to work on my blades like this. I would rather take the tool to the blade rather than take the blade to the tool. This last time I moved, I sold my last bench grinder I had. I don't use a bench grinder on any of these knives anymore. Uh, what I use instead is this. This is the other tool I have. So this is just a rim, and I welded a T, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six grinders on there, all with different things on them different tools on the heads, different grinding wheels on the heads, and some air tools I keep on there too. And that way I take the tool to the work and I find that that works much better for what I'm doing. So uh, anyway, that's another little video on what my shop looks like and some of the tools I use. If you guys have any questions, get a hold of me on the Facebook, Running Iron Works. Thanks everybody.